That hallelujah is not from my God. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for this uh, meeting. We bless the name of the Lord for what God has been doing since we came together. And even this morning, I, how many of you felt his presence? I felt his presence and I pray that the Lord will continue to bless us in Jesus' name. Before we get to the climax of today's service, by the grace of God, I'm standing here on behalf of the Young Adult Ministry of this region. I thought you would give the Lord a round of applause. And uh, before I do what I'm asked to do, if you're a young adult in the house, can you please step forward? Starting with the president, Michael Ajayi. Give them a round of applause as they come. All the young adults, can you please come forward? Come forward. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't be shy. Let them see you. We have wonderful young adults in this church. Give the Lord a round of applause for them. Beautiful faces, wonderful brothers, wonderful sisters. Now, walk like young adults. Walk like young adults. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for this ministry. We thank the Lord for what God is doing in this ministry. God is working in this ministry. I tell somebody who will say amen. I say God is working in this ministry. This, since the inception of this ministry, we have had many weddings. It's not something that you think you need to give. We have had many weddings. Not only that, they are making progress. Many doctors among them, many of them with masters, many of them with in different and diverse professions. Not only that, God is moving them forward spiritually. How many of us were blessed this morning by the ministration of our brother, Pastor Victor? Is he here now? Is he part of them? Yes, he's also part of the ministry. He was part of them, started with them, and God made him to be a pastor. Not only that, we have two or three more pastors even among them. That simply means God is doing something in this ministry. I say God is doing something in this ministry. If your children are not yet part of this ministry, they are missing a lot. And by the grace of God, through this ministry, we have been able to retain many of our young people that would rather have gone out there saying, well, the church is getting too old. The church is not meeting our need. God is meeting their need through this ministry. And by the grace of God, by the grace of God, God has given us a father in this ministry in the person of our region of Asia. Since God used him to put this ministry together, we have been going from glory to glory. I say we have been going from glory to glory. Thank God for the Father that God has given us in this region. Thank God for the Father that God has given us in this region. I thought you would give the Lord a better round of applause. Give the Lord a better round of applause. Because God is using him to preserve the souls of these young ones. He is using him to move them to glory, to glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your dedication, your devotion, everything you have put into this ministry. If you see him among the young people, he's still a young adult. He can come here, speak to us as adults, but when he's among us, he's also a young adult. When we are having sports, pastor is with us. Whatever we are doing is with us. And we want to really, really appreciate God even on your behalf, sir. We want to thank God for what God is using you to do in this ministry. We are not people that only thank God on, I mean, with only mouth. We practicalize it. So in the light of that, sir, we'll seek your indulgence to come up, sir. We have something special for you. The Bible says, let the headers that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. Thank you so much, sir. On behalf of the Young Adult Ministry, we say, with our deepest appreciation, we have our honor, Pastor Michael A. Dada, the Young Adult Family of the DLBC, Mid-Atlantic, Southeast, New York 1 and 2 region, recognize you for your exceptional leadership, visionary guidance, unconditional commitment, and tremendous support to the body of Christ. Praise the Lord. Definitely, you will know that I'm not the one that wrote this. 
is a young adult. They went to better school than me. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, sir, on behalf of the young adult, sir. Not only that, we have a token also for you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, sir. I know you might want to say one thing or the other. I really want to bless the Lord for what uh, <laughs> I want to appreciate uh, the young adult and uh, the leadership for Diminute Pete to do this, and I, I'm not taking it lightly. It's been a journey, and I'm glad. I'm sorry. The strong sometimes feel weak too, right? I'm glad that uh, this is happening, and I'm grateful to God that I can see you all standing. I'm grateful to God that I can see you all making progress. And the more of you I see, the more grateful I am to the Lord that the effort and the sacrifices are not in vain. And the Lord will help you. Yeah. You know, as we live all day in the out, I look around, what are my own children? Where are they? But it is where. We walk through the day, we walk through the night to be sure that the lives of the young ones are saved and preserved. And the Lord will preserve you all. Amen. And the Lord will use you all. Amen. And He will prosper you. Amen. He will perfect you. Amen. Together we we'll make it to heaven. Amen. But I want to challenge you again that no matter who is following and no matter who is not following, Keep your eyes on the Lord. It's a battle, but we are destined to win. Yes. What did I say? The world is pulling on one hand. The Lord is pulling on, on the other hand. We will fall to the side of the Lord. Yes. And all those that are still out there without, the Lord will bring them in. Yes. The world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Amen. Your lights will shine. Amen. Your glory will not go down. Amen. And um, understand if you're observant to see that we are bringing up a lot of young adults now because we cannot pretend as if we don't know the times of the season. And the need for us to hand over the baton and I am praying that God will count you all worthy in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be going through your challenges in life. God that took us, I tell people, I came to the Lord very young. Yes. And he has kept me this far. Yes. That same God is alive. 
no matter what you are going through, you will come out of it. Amen. Your life will shine. Amen. Your glory will glow. Amen. And through you, the light of the gospel will go around the world in Jesus' Amen. name. I didn't expect this. It's a surprise to me personally. And uh, God will surprise you all in Jesus' Amen. name. And I want to thank uh, our young adult father, Pastor Folanyo, for his labor as well. I wish this is what they are doing for him. But, uh, and I want to thank all our pastors. I thank all our pastors. You know, um, let me see, brother from North Carolina, one of the time. When we started, we started uh, with the youth. We don't have all these young adults then. And uh, he came to one of the programs and uh, he saw what we do. How all night long, no sleep. How we'll be going from hotel hall all night just to be sure that things are in order. And he saw the attitude of many of them. And then he came back another year and he saw the same children. And he came to me and said, Pastor, thank God for you. This is the same children I saw, and I felt there is no hope. And now I see a change in them. Uh, two or three years ago, I don't remember now, some things happened and I felt so down. And some of them were in my office, and I said, I'm not sure if I'm not wasting my time and life, but is this thing really working? And I broke down. And one of them said, Pastor, please don't stop this. And I will never forget. And she said, you know my life. You knew when our parents brought us from Africa and said a few things, and she was bold to say it. She said, you know how much you labored on me and how my life turned around. She said, Pastor, look at me now. I'm not just in the church. I got married in this church. I'm not just in the church. I'm a worker in this church. And she said, Pastor, please, keep it going. I want to appreciate you all that believe in us and supporting us. Many a times it's not easy when we say we have to raise this money, we have to raise that money. Uh, all your effort and sacrifices will not be in vain. In the name of Jesus. And please... No matter what challenge you may be facing in your personal life or family, you have not been called because of your family. Your family just happens to be part of those that God has called you to reach out to. Am I communicating? Go ye into all the world. Your wife, your children are just part of the world. If Lot's wife would choose to look back, must not look back. Unfortunately, Eli was not wise enough. When his children decided to become children of Belial, he saw that the father to take a stand and to see God's glory first and that no other person was share in that glory. Eli condescended to the level of the children, and unfortunately, he perished with them. You will not perish. Amen. Your children will not perish. Amen. Your wife will not perish. Amen. And please continue to pray for our young adults. They will make their mistakes. There is no question about that. We made our own mistakes. We don't expect them to be who we are right now until God break, brings them to that level. So learn to accommodate them. Learn to make adjustments yourself. As they need to change, we need to change too. Our way of uh, correcting, our way of instructing, our way of directing, we need, and then we need to respect them too. Did you hear what I just said? We need to respect them too. Amen. Because they are not just children anymore. They are now adults. And the Lord will build them up. Amen. And the Lord will bless them. Amen. Whatever we can do to work together and make them 
the future of this church, the Lord will grant unto us in Jesus' name. Once again, our regional leader, our president, praise the Lord, uh, the vice president, amen. And one of them is here, praise God. And all the executive members and all the members of the young adult and those that are online watching from all over, from the depth of my heart, I say thank you. And God bless you all in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Sorry, sir, before you go, sir, I'll call on Pastor Benga to please come and pray for one of us. Um, sorry, sir, uh, Pastor, before you pray, Pastor said he wished that um, we're doing this for Pastor. This is my father. My, this is my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> and so we can't honor our grandfather without honoring our father. But I will call on my leader <laughs> to do that for us. They are surprising the surpriser. Surpriser is being surprised now. <laughs> So on behalf of the young adult, I will present this to you for your exceptional leadership, visionary guidance, unconditional commitment, and tremendous support to the body of Christ. We are very grateful for all your effort. God bless you and lift you higher in Jesus' name. Amen. They didn't take my own picture. <laughs> you did? I didn't see that too. Maybe you took it when I was crying. Yes, another young adult. <laughs> Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. <laughs> 